What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Money's Funko Pops. I am of course Money and today we are going to be looking at a huge supposed leak of what is going to be allegedly your San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pop exclusive lineup or at least part of it. Now this is a, a different type of setup that I usually do for a video. You know, usually I would sit down at my table with my background, but you know what? I kind of want to start doing videos like this where I can do a voiceover and kind of just share my thoughts and opinions on different things. So uh, this is going to be like a new kind of mini segment that I'm going to be doing on the channel just to kind of see how it pans out and to see if people are into it. So uh, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like at the end of it so I can judge whether or not you want to see more videos like this. So all the information for this video comes from Serlent Pops on Instagram. He's been leaking uh, San Diego Comic-Con Pops uh, kind of in batches of like four or five at a time and now it seems that things have been compiled into one big list and there's some added things on top of it. Now we're not going to go item by item for this list because then this video would just be a 30 minute long expository of me just commenting, oh this looks cool, I don't know what this is, okay I want this. Rather, we're going to go ahead and look at this list as a whole, talk about some highlights, talk about some things that are new, and maybe even some things that kind of caught me off guard that I wasn't expecting to be on this list. Because like I said, otherwise this video would be like a half hour no one wants to listen to you, boy, for a half hour. So one thing that I am really excited for, and although I'm not going to be personally picking up, this McDonald's Captain Crook is a great sign. I've been in this Funko community for almost five years now, and I feel like there's always this leak coming out every six months, every year, saying McDonald's pops are coming, then they inevitably get canceled. So the fact that one of these is rumored to be shared with San Diego Comic-Con, I mean, that should just seal the coffin finally that we will be getting these pops after all, which is really exciting. I know a lot of ad icon collectors out there are really looking forward to these McDonald's pops. So for me, even though I'm not going to be picking up these McDonald's pops personally, I like that finally they're going to be coming out and God, I'm just hoping that they don't get canceled again. Now next we're going to move into My Hero Academia and uh, it should be no surprise we're getting another Deku variant. You know, they love this. This is going to be a 10 inch. Uh, I'm going to bet that this is going to be shared with the Funko Shop rather than a brick and mortar retailer, uh, because I don't remember there ever being a 10 inch pop that was a Comic-Con exclusive that didn't go to the Funko shop. And I'm not suggesting it's gonna be piece counted, I'm just suggesting that it is probably gonna be a limited edition shared to the Funko shop, and that this uh, Bakugo guy will be a Hot Topic or GameStop or something. So let's go ahead and just talk about the rest of these anime pops while we're here. Uh, we're gonna be getting God, Goku, Super Saiyan, and then Super Saiyan Cleffa. Oh. <laughs> Kefla, not the Pokemon. God, Goku, Super Saiyan, and then Super Saiyan Kefla. Now, I'm looking at this as a total win, mostly because there is no Chrome Vegeta on this list. Can I get a fucking hallelujah for that? It's just so nice to see some Dragon Ball Z pops that, Dragon Ball Super pops, that aren't just going to be a variants of characters that over and over again, and granted Goku's on this list again, but God Goku Super Saiyan sounds like just every word in the Dragon Ball Z universe put onto Goku, so it's got to look pretty cool. And then Mermaid Man is one that I am absolutely down for. Cannot wait to get my hands on Mermaid Man, and then the inevitable Barnacle Boy that they'll do for maybe New York Comic Con, maybe Emerald City Comic Con. And the only real reason I'm talking about this is because I want to suggest an idea for a uh, for an invisible boat mobile pop, which would just be an empty box with an insert in it, kind of like what they did for the Brady Bunch's George Glass. Uh, I would definitely spend $20 on an empty box to display the invisible boat mobile. I think that that would be fucking hysterical to go along with Mermaid Man and, like I said, the, the inevitable barnacle boy that we will get. And this is the first one on this list that I am most excited to get. Another thing that I'm excited for, and though I won't be picking any of them up, I'm, I'm still really excited for you guys who collect DC because this lineup looks sick. You DC fans get fucked over at every single Comic-Con, and that's not me trying to be mean. That's me just being fucking truthful. I mean, you guys get dicked over every single Comic-Con. I mean, you guys got Huntress for New York City Comic-Con, which was pretty cool. But how many fucking Chrome Batmans can you guys handle? I mean, like, there has to be other characters out there, and it looks like you guys are finally going to be getting 
different characters and even though one of these things is going to be a translucent Mr. Freeze which is just a variant I get it a Wonder Woman with Tiara Boomerang is probably just going to be a mold change but this Cyborg Superman and this Raz Al Ghul I mean they're new characters right I mean we've gotten Cyborg we've gotten Superman but we've never gotten a Cyborg Superman which is going to look fucking sick I bet and then this Raz Al Ghul is the guy from Arrow I think so I don't think he's ever been turned into a pop before so that's really exciting you know Funko could have just simply done Wonder Woman and Mr. Freeze because it was easy but I like that they're going to be doing other characters for you guys and I hope that this is a trend moving forward and I guess we can't talk about one without talking about the other so let's go ahead and dive into this Marvel lineup real quick you got the zombie daredevil you have dark Captain Marvel you have the 20th anniversary Nightcrawler teleporting <laughs> then you're gonna have Stanley delivery guy cameo from Captain America Civil War a 10 inch zombie thing and then Deadpool Wade Deadpool now again this zombies line is another one of these things that got canceled and everybody was bitching and then all of a sudden it's back and everyone's like oh it never got canceled guys the coronavirus is affecting production on all of these things from London Toy Fair we need to be patient with the releases so granted there are going to be two I guess rumored two zombies for this San Diego comic-con set but that doesn't mean that the rest of them are going to be coming out anytime soon but it is nice to see that it was a part of their comic-con catalog and the 10 inch thing like that's going to be sick are you kidding me like that's going to be such an awesome thing so this lineup is pretty cool it's interesting that there's no mcu pops with the exception of this stanley cameo and honestly i totally get it i mostly just collect mcu marvel because otherwise i would just spiral out of control but it's actually nice to be able to not only A, take a break from that, but B, be able to see this Marvel roster not just be throwaway characters like Minerva, who, who really don't deserve a pop in my opinion and kind of only exists for the sake of filling a spot for a catalog. So this is nice. This is going to be an awesome lineup for Marvel. There are a bunch of things on this list that are a part of lines that were either announced at London Toy Fair or New York Toy Fair. And it's interesting to me that there are so many pops in here that are a part of those sets. That have gone on to be confirmed to be uh, delayed until late 2020 or early 2021. So of course we have the zombie pops that I just talked about. Then we also have the Hello Kitty crossover with Kaiju, which is the robot kitty. I apologize for the butchering of that pronunciation, by the way. I know I'm going to hear shit down below. Then we also have the boys, which was confirmed by Amazon to be delayed until April of next year. Can you believe that? That the coronavirus has affected the production of some of these Funko products so much that they are being pushed off by almost an entire year. So this is just your reminder to be patient with some of these things that even though you are excited about them, you, you might not be getting them for some time, which is which is a little too bad, but I, I totally get it. And it's interesting to me that these Comic-Con pops, if this leak is true, that these things are going to be coming out if they probably were put in production at the same time as the rest of the set, right? Like, I doubt that they would come up with this line and then do a Comic-Con pop after or before. I feel like it would all be designed in one shot and they would be like, oh, cool. That would be a good look for San Diego Comic-Con. Let's release that for that. So interesting that those four things are going to be coming out you know, rumored to be coming out for this July, but the rest of the set is going to be delayed as far as next year. And of course, with every single Comic-Con, there is going to be variants out the butt, and uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2020 is seeming to be no exception to that rule, although there is less variants on this list than I anticipated, which is actually very interesting to me. And like I talked about way early on in this video, I did a video talking about Funko's uh, high levels of production and the amount of variants that they're creating. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to check that out at the end of this video. But there are variants on this, and like I just said, not as many as I thought. So uh, the variants that I see on here that I haven't talked about yet are Flocked Mewtwo from Pokemon, which is just, in my opinion, the dumbest shit that I've seen in my entire life. Another variant on here is another fucking Harry Potter. We're getting Harry Potter at the World Cup, which when I did a quick Google search on it, it was just him riding a broom. And in my head, I was like, shit, this already exists from San Diego Comic-Con 2017. 
Are they really at a point in the Harry Potter franchise where they're doing Harry on another fucking broom in another different fucking outfit? Like, that's just so frustrating. The Office fans can look forward to yet another Dwight variant. This is going to be Recyclops version 2, which is probably going to be the, the second appearance of Recyclops in this episode. I assume now that we're two versions in, we're going to be getting every single uh, incarnation of Recyclops, which in my opinion is pretty stupid. I liked how for Emerald City Comic Con we got Recyclops because Recyclops in his first stage is green. Emerald City Comic Con's motif is green. But for San Diego Comic-Con, that seems kind of stupid if you'd ask me. I could go on about The Office all day because the set is just spiraling out of control in my own personal opinion, but nonetheless, another Dwight variant for us Office fans to pick up. Another franchise on this list that not only gets another variant, but also reinforces my belief that this could not possibly be the entire list of exclusives is Star Wars. The only exclusive on this list is going to be the child with the silver ball from when he's on Mando's ship and he pulls the little... uh the, the cap off of his gear shift and plays with it, which is a funny little bit from, I think, with the fourth or fifth episode. It's, it's hysterical. It's one of my favorite moments from Mando, but this cannot be the entire Star Wars catalog for San Diego Comic-Con. There's got to be at least another one, and it's got to be one of those Futara or Futeria uh, exclusives. You know, the ones where they dress them up with all the different paint and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not a Star Wars guy. I, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it's called, but WonderCon got one. Emerald City Comic-Con got one. I believe even New York Comic-Con got one, so I'm going to bet money that we're going to be getting more Star Wars variants. And now to kind of talk about some random odds and ends that are on this list, I think it's very interesting that the Emperor's New Groove is coming back with a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because there was one wave of these pops and then we kind of never saw anything from it again. So I like that they're bringing back some of these older lines. We're getting another Little Mermaid and I don't know why. I don't know what it could be. Uh, they've done so many Princess Ariel pops and I'm, I'm sure that there are other characters in that movie that they could do in replacement of Princess Ariel. Uh, it seems like kind of a waste in my personal opinion. We're going to be getting a new Fortnite pop. We're going to be getting Ripley, which is a character from the newest chapter of the game. And if they were going to pick any of these new Fortnite skins, I'm glad that it's going to be Ripley because he's one of the coolest. Then we're going to be going and returning to Scott Pilgrim with Kim Pine, which was one of the first pops that came out, but was tied to a three pack and was shared to FYE. And you know, your boy's got his hands on it for his complete Scott Pilgrim collection, which I pride myself in. Two new Masters of the Universe exclusives, Blast Attack and Clawful. Simpsons gets added with Comic Book Guy. We get a few other odds and ends like Isle of Dogs, Atari and Chief Tupac, Eastbound and Down, Kenny Powers. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about on this list was the return of Pulp Fiction with Wallace with phone. Now, this is interesting because they haven't done Pulp Fiction pops in years. These were some of the first few that came out. Number, it's it's below 100. I know that much. So it's interesting to me that if this leak is true, are we going to be getting more Pulp Fiction pops going forward? Because that would be very interesting to me. So there you go, guys. That's the entire San Diego Comic-Con leak. I'm, I'm going to call it like a round one leak. I imagine that we're going to be getting more pops going forward from Serlent or a Nerdy Dad or uh, or pop keep, you know, all these different Instagrammers who have these different ins with, uh, with sources and stuff like that. Now, like I've said throughout this entire video, guys, this cannot be all of the pops for this con. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be at least 20 more. I expect at least 60 to 70 pops, or I guess I should say items. There's also no soda on this list and Funko is going ham with the Funko soda. So that is another flag for me that this cannot be the entire list. Uh, I cut some stuff here and there. I assume while editing this down to make it less than a half hour long. Make sure you drop me a comment down below and let me know which item on this list you are looking forward to the most and why. And honestly, guys, this Comic-Con is going to be interesting. You know, this is going to be the... I guess the technically the third Comic-Con of the year that's going to be virtual exclusively. You know, you had Emerald City Comic-Con, then Wonder Comic-Con, and now you're going to have San Diego. But San Diego is huge in comparison to the other two that I just talked about. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, how it goes with, you know, bots going out and getting some of these exclusives. And, you know, maybe some states won't be fully open to retail at that point where, you know, you might not be able to go out to certain stores or certain malls because of where you're located. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I absolutely appreciate your support and I will be seeing you soon. What's up, guys? Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content that I post here to the channel. Down below me, there are two different videos. You have my suggestion, which is the video that I suggest you watch. 
or you can click next video, which will take you to a video very similar to the one that you just watched. So thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you soon.